We're here in Berks County, Pennsylvania at Primordia Mushroom Farm, and I'm here with Matt. And Matt, I want to ask you, how did you get started in this entire process? Uh, overall pro uh, fascination with the process of fermentation, with mm -hmm. uh, live culture um, and the health benefits, the uh, flavor and texture profiles that can be achieved through uh, live culture foods. And it seemed like a, an interest in mushrooms was a, a logical extension of that. To decide to just build a mushroom farm, like yeah. where, like how do you even begin to think about that? Because that's a very scientific process. L lots of reading, lots of generous support and insight from uh, another couple who had been growing uh, Ole Valley mushrooms. But there have been some surprises along the way, yes. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're going to go and take a look at your entire process. So can we go do that now? Absolutely. All right, great, thank you. <laughs> We're here in the first building to get started on the mushroom making process. So there are these great big bags of all kinds of materials behind us, Matt. Can you talk about how we get started and what these are? Sure. So in general, most of the varieties that we grow will be growing in nature on dead or dying hardwood trees. So for instance, this is a, a bag of uh, freshly milled hardwood sawdust that we mix to just the right um, in just the right way for the varieties we're growing. And this is a big column bag of uh, uh, moistened and uh, mixed straw for other varieties. We put them in these bags um, and that's, and we go from there. So instead of having a tree, you've kind of created your own like tree environment mm -hmm. within these bags. Mm -hmm. We kind of think of it as like, think of it that we're creating our own logs. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And then you take them from here and you put them in this big tank behind us? That's right, so I take these, either the sawdust or the straw, we load them into here. This is a repurposed um, milk cooler from a dairy farm, but we pulled it out and we have these steam lines coming in from a steam boiler and we steam sterilize all the material in here first. Uh, before, and then we take it from here and I'll cool it, take it into our clean room in which we inoculate. And what does inoculate mean for the general public? <laughs> sure, sure. So after this is sterilized, theoretically inside these bags is a totally sterile environment. Then we introduce the desired mycelium or kind of mushroom roots of the varieties that we want. Okay, Matt, we are in your second building and there are 10 foot tall uh, shelves full of these bags and it's humid in here. Can you tell us what happens in this room? Sure, so we call this our spawn room mm -hmm. that right after being in the clean room where they're inoculated, um, then they have to be in here to so that the mycelium or the roots that we want, as it were, can grow through entirely. And they start out looking like just bags of sawdust and as mm -hmm. it grows through, these are all colonized well now with the varieties we grow. And we have a whole range of varieties in here and we're just always keeping track of who's ready to start producing fruit bodies and who needs a little more time to mature. We are in one of the growing rooms right now and we have, as you can see, mushrooms are growing out of these bags. So what's happening in this room, Matt? So now in this room, all the bags you see are done in the spawn room. The mycelium or the kind of mushroom roots as it were, have grown entirely through, uh, claimed all the nutrients they can claim and now we get them ready for fruiting. And you know, they grow and uh, they produce fruit bodies and you know, we just let them grow through until they're ready to harvest. Like this will be harvested in about an hour. So that, what we have there, that would be something that you would cut off the bag, take it to a market, somebody could eat it later today. Absolutely. It's ready to go. Absolutely, yep. yep. Woo, that's we awesome. Get all our stuff out fresh, yeah. And what are we, what, what kind of mushrooms are these again in these big bags? The gray ones here, like this is an oyster mushroom. Okay. The white okay. one is a white elm, it's called. This is related with the shimeji mushroom, another variety we grow. And are they popping out of the bags on their own? No, we have to cut. Um, little holes in them oh, okay. to allow the humidity to get to them and allow extra air flow. So, you know, this is our oyster mushroom barn in, in which we're mostly growing oyster mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Next we can go to some of the grow rooms where we have other varieties, shiitake, shimeji, white trumpet. Okay, yeah, yep. that sounds good. Let's go. Matt, we're in another grow room here mm -hmm. and there's lots of mushrooms going on behind me. So what kind of varieties do we have here? What we're looking at right here, this is our shiitake, and they've been growing and uh, they're looking good. So these can be harvested now. These would be harvested today. 
Wow, and that's nice, huge. Slightly incurved, yeah. Nice yeah. texture. Shiitake, fresh shiitake should always have a little bit of these hairs almost on them. Oh. And so these can be harvested. Then also, as well as the shiitake, we have um, the shimeji here. They're related to the white elm that are also growing in the oyster barn. And these are in, they just kind of can be popped off, oh, often wow. as this lovely cluster. And um, I like to saute these exactly as they are, full stems and all. Wow, it looks almost like Alice in Wonderland <laughs> or something. I mean, and you really get a sense seeing these next to each other, mm -hmm. that they are different textures. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the flavors are mm -hmm. very, very different. Mm -hmm. And these like, I mean, these things almost look like big rocks or something, but yeah. this is actually what's in those bags. Is mm -hmm. that right? Absolutely. Now, but now the sawdust is totally, you know, colonized. So that's like it's amazing. just a, one, one wow. uh, mycelial mat. So that's, you know, and, we, and each of the varieties has their own um, means by which they're grown. These look totally different, means mm -hmm. by which they're harvested, phase of maturity at which they're harvested. So mm -hmm. we're just always, always watching and paying attention. To that. that is so cool. So these are ready to go. You can just take them to your kitchen right now and make a delicious meal with Absolutely. them. Absolutely. <laughs> that I sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the tour today. I yeah. don't know what I thought it was all about, but this has been completely fascinating. I don't think I'm ever going to look at mushrooms the same way again. Okay. So can you tell us about where people can find your product? Sure. Uh, we're at uh, Easton Farmer's Market mm -hmm. every Saturday all year and sell to a number of restaurants in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Lehigh Valley, generally, um, Berks County, Philadelphia, all farm to table, contemporary restaurants. Wonderful. And we're always there and I'm always willing to talk about recipes and the like. That's great. We love that. We love recipes. And you can also check out the Primordia Mushroom Farm Facebook page for more information. And thank you again for all of your time. You. This was fascinating. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>